When using Microsoft Flow to get items from a list, whether it's SharePoint or an Excel file, uh, there's a default limit of 100 items. So we can see here, uh, if you just have a few items, it's going to be fine and it's going to use all of those. But then further down here, I have a list of 150 items and it's only pulling in the first 100. So uh, what we're going to do is go into Edit Your Flow and find the steps where you're getting items. So I've got this Get Rows step and click the ellipsis and we have an option for settings here. So click Settings, and then it's these first two things we're going to look at. And uh, pagination toggling here uh, is just going to, for classic views in SharePoint, um, use that token at the bottom. The default limit's like 30 items. By turning this on, it's going to automatically page through all of your view um, pages. And then for the limit here, uh, just put a max number that you don't think your list would exceed. So in my case, with 150, and it's not going to grow, uh, I can just put 200, and that's going to be fine. After you do that, just make sure you click Done here, and then also Update Flow up here. Uh, but be mindful that uh, even if you do it here, you still have to go down to other steps that may be using the same list or any other list that's going to be over 100. So I've got another Get step here I would need to make that change on, and here. Uh, and this applies to both Excel Get steps as well as SharePoint. And just to show you real quick, uh, this is a SharePoint thing. Uh, it looks exactly the same, so you can just toggle on and put your limit. So that way uh, it's going to go ahead and pull in everything you need.